Do pubes ever stop growing? How do you know if you've gone through puberty? That question was asked thousands of times online this week. It got me thinking about me age 12. Wow, check that out. What a stunner. I didn't have a clue what was going on when it came to puberty. And seeing as so many of you guys seem to be unsure as well, I think I need to investigate. Pass me my investigation hat. Uh, we don't have an investigation hat. So typing puberty into a computer is basically like opening up a can of worms. There's just so much there. People have been asking all sorts of questions. Somebody here says, my friends say I smell funny, but I can't smell anything. Is this to do with puberty? Is it true that doing more sport makes puberty go faster? And another person is worried about sounding weird when his voice breaks. Hello, can I have a chocolate, please? Have you got Wi-Fi? There's lots to clear up, so I'm going to head to a place full of people experiencing puberty and all its effects, somewhere where I can get all the info on everything pube related. Yep, I'm going back to school. God, this feels really weird. It's bringing back all sorts of painful memories. Anxiety, embarrassment and awkwardness, all mixed together with a nice old dollop of spot cream. Luckily though, I've arranged to have a chat with one of the teachers, who hopefully is going to put me at ease. Hey Mr. Deneen. Hiya. How's it going? Thanks for having us in your very swanky science lab. This is amazing. It's so much nicer than my science lab was at school. Um, I've got a list here of the most commonly asked questions on the internet about puberty. Because the whole area seems like it's you know just a source of anxiety really. Everyone's a bit stressed out about it. Bring it on. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to start with an easy one. It's the big one though. What is puberty? So puberty is a time in a young person's life where they undergo the physical changes where, uh, and undertake those physical changes necessary for them to uh, change into their adult bodies. Is there a way to speed up puberty? Because it seems like it's something that happens to everyone at a different time. Yeah, well, there's, there's no way to speed it up or slow it down. Uh, it's a natural process. Some might find that they undergo uh, the changes of, in puberty quite quickly, some more slowly. So there's no set defined times for that. A question that lots of people seem to ask is, what stage of puberty am I at? Yeah, it um, can be quite confusing because people see different parts of their body developing um, in, in maybe a different sequence to their, their peers. And if it seems like your mates are more developed than you, is that something you should be worried about? Should you be a bit stressed out about that if it seems like your friends are a bit more grown up than you physically? Absolutely not, no. Lots of people just seem to see puberty as a really stressful, horrible time. Uh, are there any positive things about it? Are there any good parts? Um, quite exciting time for young people. That you, they find that they become stronger because obviously there'll be muscle development. And certainly some anxious moments, but the end goal uh, and, and the end product, your, your adult body, uh, that's quite an exciting thing to look forward to. And finally, it's the question that I started my quest with, my investigation. Do pubes ever stop growing? What's going on with that? Brilliant question. Uh, Pubes don't stop growing, uh, like all hair on your body, uh, it grows in cycles. So you'll find that um, once you've developed uh, and all of your pubes have developed, uh, they'll continue to grow throughout your life. Just a cycle, yeah. just they fall out, fall new out. ones appear. Absolutely. If somebody feels like puberty is really stressing them out and they want to talk to someone about it, who do you suggest that they get in touch with? Because it's not an easy thing to chat about, is it? It can be quite awkward. No, absolutely not. All adults have been through puberty, so all of us have some, some knowledge of the topic. So, you know, talking to your parents is a good starting point. Um, perhaps teachers, especially your science teachers, will, will know about all the stages in, uh, of puberty and can help explain that to you. Uh, and they can also uh, call an Asbrook advisor um, if they want to speak uh, with them in private, have a confidential call. Well, Mr. Deneen, thank you so much for chatting to me. I feel like you've cleared a lot up. You've answered a lot of questions. Terrific. Yeah, I'm glad I helped. How do you know if you've gone through puberty? Well, my investigation concludes that there's not just one answer. There are loads, and it affects everyone differently. Ultimately, though, it's not something to stress about. There is loads to talk about, though, when it comes to puberty, so do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And we're going to be on Twitter right now to answer your questions. Head over to our mate Luke Is Not Sexy's channel to watch him talk about puberty some more and investigate some more facts. Next week, we'll be talking about the dreaded V word, Valentine's Day, and whether it's quite possibly the most stressful day of the year. 
why did the skeleton not get invited to the disco? Don't be offended, it's just a joke. Because he had no body to dance with. He had nobody to dance with. He had nobody, he's a skeleton. No? 